You know what? This is already getting disrespectful. No. Put the... Jim, just start rolling because I've had it. This is how just, you're mad at both Just of roll. Yeah, I'm mad at both you're mad? of you. I listen in here, right? Ready? That's yeah. exactly how you do it. Yeah. There you you go, can't... Nick. You have to put the mic on your <laughs> stupid mouth. Yeah, just the way my, my wang is going to be. Hey, man. Yeah, it's Nick the dick, everybody. And so he's the microphone's a... like balls. No, they can't chair. hear All you right. when you do that. All right. They... All right. There you go. You're wearing a well. What? Where were you? Were you at a? Are you? Were you at a bouncy house? Because look at how you're dressed. <clears throat> were you getting um, ready yes. for the SATs or what's going on there, bro? Um, no, I moved into a bouncy house. <laughs> yeah, Brian's right. It's just really, it's really cheap. <laughs> okay. And you wake up just immediately. Yeah, you yeah, just, yeah. You yeah. stand up and then point. You just no, get right. You start your day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. So you're okay. So it keeps you effervescent. Yeah, completely effervescent. Yeah. You guys were late, by the way. I'd like people to know that <laughs> you right. guys are not on time. I was 10 minutes early. So Bre- Brendan goes like this. He goes, ah, it's so unprofessional. He's there already. We're late. I go, there's nothing professional about Nick. By the way. That's not nice. You need to take. That's not that. nice, is it, Nick? I no, I just that, mean you're not like formal. Right. But you're. You got to show respect, though. And- I don't wear a tuxedo like you do outside of work. That's the thing about Brian. Brian's too formal where he's just constantly walking around. <laughs> In a tuxedo. I wish he was. <laughs> One time. I wish he did. And then he calls it a suck me yo. That's his thing because he has no, it's crotchless. A so he wears suck this. Me yo. So he wears the suck me yo. That's so stupid. It's so, <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> that's where you started in New out. York? I started in Minnesota and then I moved to New York. Uh, Our comedy scene in Minnesota. The comedy scene in Minnesota is amazing. Is it good? A lot of comics like ask for advice. I'm like, just stay here for a while. Because yeah. New York was rough. Like yeah, when I moved to New York, I was like, <laughs> This Minnesota comic, and I was like 19 when I started, and I was like, hey, how are you? I like to the crowd, and they'd be like, ah. <laughs> Like, they just, they don't know anything. They're just eating mayonnaise. Like, they're, they're so just, big, too. They're all, isn't it the land of the giants, Minnesota? Like, I'm, when yeah. I shake hands, they all, everybody has giant hands. Big boys. They're yeah. big. They're all, they all look like Brock Lesnar. Norwegians. Yeah, yeah, they're big Scandinavian. Yeah. They take huge shits. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How no, would you know great. that? I don't. Did you hang out in a shit pit? Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, um, there's a lot of uh, bathrooms and stuff. Yeah. Hey, okay. speaking of fireworks, were you at that barbecue at Galifianakis's in Venice when I brought all those illegal fireworks? Tight no, move. but I, I, like went to a lot of, stuff? I went to a lot of his... M8. The, I went to a lot of those barbecues where he'd have volleyball, and yeah. everybody was so unathletic that I was, <laughs> so the, Lebr- I was the LeBron James. <laughs> I was the LeBron brother. I, was I bet LeBron. you were thriving. Dude, we'd play volleyball, and everybody was tiny, and they were, they'd never seen a ball. They'd never seen a ball. <laughs> and I would get up, and I'd just be like... Hey! I'd be spiking. I remember Fiona Apple when I was dating Fiona Apple. Yeah. She she was like she goes. Um, I saw you with all your hand stuff. I was like, what? She goes, just the way you can manipulate the ball. Obviously, you know, you're so much more athletic, and I know you were showing off for me or something. I, I go, no, she goes, I know you're showing off. I go, I was showing off for you, joking around. But I was LeBron James. I was a better athlete. Well, you were pay, so you were playing cocky. against like fat, pale improvisers. That's right. Yeah, and that's like, right. Who'd never done and a sport. extras and stuff that like, would never. Exactly. I, I would. I'd walk around like a bully. Yeah, it was it was not cool. Are you athletic at all, Nick? Do no, you do anything? Insanely athletic. <laughs> what do you mean, Nick? I, yeah. What do you I do? Like what's what's your been. morning routine? Basketball. My morning routine involves a lot of backflips. And then uh, a yeah. lot of stretching. Yeah. And then I immediately grab a basketball <laughs> and just start I dribble about ten you, miles a day. You oh, dribble oh, ten yeah. miles a mm-hmm. day? Down the freeway. That seems a lot. Yeah, yeah in and out of traffic. What? Yep, I just cross over cars. I've never trucks. heard that, but that's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty intense, man. Yeah, that's uh, really it hard. It literally to makes hear. me sick. Come on. I just like all these Phoenix comics, like, oh, in awe of Brian, yeah. all oiled up, and yeah, just, they, what a jerk. And I are. walked into shit on the scene. What the fuck's going on yeah, here? Yeah, the giant comes in who really fought. You should have ended, Brian. What? You should have just taken Should I go, excuse me, give me guys yeah. some tips and just. You should have sent him to the angels. I should have pulled <laughs> yes. your pants down and spanked you in front of everyone. Yeah. You should have sent him to the angels. <laughs> sent him to the angels. Time yes. to send you to the angels. You're what? Gonna... Wait, what? <laughs> That's a great thing to say. Send him to the angels. I would yeah. love to do that before I killed someone. I, uh, Time to do you know me. Chris Lieben? Yes. The yeah. Crippler? The Crippler. Yeah. He was, I haven't talked to him for a while, but he was a, we used to hang out back in the day. Nice and guy. I remember one time, uh, I was doing shows in Hawaii. And, He's uh, from there. Yeah, and uh, he came to the shows, and I was there for a week, and I was like, "Hey, let's, uh, you know, let's drink and party." And he's like, "No, I'm good." So every day, I like we were drinking and partying. And he was like, "No." So finally, the last day, I go, "It's my last day." I go, "You're really not gonna like rage?" And he goes, "All right, you want me to? You want me to rage?" And I go, "Yeah, yeah, 
No, and he goes, okay. okay, here we go. Oh, boy. He had, oh a, boy. Problem. He had a problem for a while. Yeah, yeah so. Uh, how dare start, you do that to we, him? He's trying to stay so Terrible. Oh. So we, t- we just start doing sake bombs. I mean, this is like 12 years ago. Start doing sake bombs. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> floodgates open. We're just hammered. We go to Dave and Buster's. He chokes my friend out <gasps> in the middle of Dave and Buster's. <gasps> he just loses it. Oh, my God. Chokes him out. My buddy's just frothing at the mouth on the ground. <laughs> oh, my we're God. We're all like, oh, my God. <laughs> and then it just it just literally escalated to the point where, like, I beat him at Papa Shot. He started throwing, like, leg kicks. Wow. Then he got me, like, in a leg chokehold in the cab, and oh the cab God. driver pulled over. It just, it was really horrible. Dude, I, I, yeah. He, yeah. He could take a beating, man. Yeah. That's... Anderson Silva was having none of it, but. That was Anderson Silva's Anderson. first fight. Was it really? In the UFC. They gave him Chris Lieb and he lit him up like Christmas tree. Yeah, oh, yeah that, that, that I mean, is right. That's a horrible thing, you know. Yeah, Christmas is Anderson not cool. In his prime. Nobody no, no one knew that. No, it wasn't his prime. No one knew. No one Anderson's knew. very he was first a new fight. guy. Yeah. Well, I obviously came from Pride. We knew he was a badass, but he wasn't like the spider. Right. That's a solid photo. That's, that's great like, if you're busy. God damn. That was, me, but that was me after my first set in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of that head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh uh, hey what are you doing now are you uh doing movies i'm doing this show <laughs> um, Get it together yeah i just filmed avatar 2 through 20 i don't know if that's oh, wow, bro. i don't yeah. know if that's the truth crazy. i'm not trying to be i can see you as one of the seems- blue creatures yeah man. that makes crazy. sense who are you playing in it I'm playing Zim Zaps. That seems yeah. like a made up name. It's not. I, I, it and came off the tongue real quick. Who is Zim Zaps? Quickly, he runs quickly. the tree of genitals. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's like a glowing genital tree. I just tree. don't think that's true. Well, watch uh, the 18th one. <laughs> okay, I and will. you'll see it, it'll make sense. I will when it comes out in, in 20, hey, the um, is that 80, out? 2018. Go ahead, though. When are, what is the date, though? Do you have a date? For I don't it? have a date set, but okay. I, I have a title. Yeah, it's called. Many smells. <laughs> Many smells. Yeah, I'm addicted to like having the, just the dumbest. We were laughing weirdest yesterday. We brought, I'm, trying, we I'm shooting my yesterday. special July 20th at Talia Hall in Chicago. Tickets are on sale right now, by the way. But um, I need to. Uh, <laughs> I know. I just hijacked your thing. But I need a name for my special. My wife right. doesn't like. I want to call it end. Bipolar Ape, but my wife doesn't like it much. That doesn't it. work for me. Really? I don't think so. Bipolar. Ape? Then we were ape? talking about American. What are you an indie band? <laughs> What an idiot. Don't call me an idiot, Nick. That's so rude on my podcast. As soon as you said bipolar, Good I'm like, God. God, it just doesn't. You know, that, you know what's not going to be funny? What? A special called Bipolar Ape. All right. Yeah. That's good. Not what about a- Volleyballer? Yeah, because you love good. volleyball so much. Volleyball. So- volley man. I play volleyball. <laughs> I love random shit like what that. What about volleying balls? What if I called it cow? That's good. Just something random. Yeah, that's not bad. American cow. What if you call it mediocre beard? <laughs> Nick, <laughs> this is not a platform for you to fucking tear me apart. I've always been nice to you. Don't call it a mediocre beard. Either. I'm Please sorry. take that back. I take it back. You haven't died in a while, huh, B? I let it go sometimes. I just grow my shit. Um, yes. Okay. But I don't drink. I actually don't drink as much as people think. What do you spend your money on? Seriously. Oof. Diamond football helmets, probably. Okay. It's That's a, good, a big one. Good. It's a good investment. Yeah. Good. I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tougher from anxiety because you don't take elevators. I know that. Yeah, I'm afraid of elevators. I have like a little bit of anxiety, but it's not too bad. I've kind of like gotten over a lot of things, but yeah, I, like sometimes, yeah. Where's the elevator thing come from? Were you traumatized as a kid? I just something? never liked them. I remember what I was doing a, I was in doing shows in Boston and I got stuck in an elevator. I was with my buddy Jay. Yeah. And I, I'm not embellishing this at all. He knows I have a fear and I, they, they would not let me take the stairs. So I was like, okay. So I took the elevator and all of a sudden, and it stops. Oh Your worst God. nightmare. And my worst nightmare. And my buddy Jay goes, dude, <laughs> dude. And I was like, ah! and I took the doors. I'm not joking. And I ripped them open. I was like, ah! and Jay's like, dude, dude. And I ripped them open. And I just go, jump, 
jump and he's like what the fuck are you doing and i go jump and he's like dude this is so dangerous i go God, yeah, yeah. and he jumps down like halfway off the floor and i just fucking rip him and then just dive out and we fall into the lobby and the doors closed and i was like yeah, yeah. never again and i'm like shaking oh my never god again. my buddy jay's like oh my god oh my god is right yeah and i had to like walk outside and i think i called my mom or something i was just had a complete nervous <laughs> breakdown you called your mom. so mers eight or whatever oh, it was. look at Nick. rise of the yeah, look at me. Oh, there Aww. you guys are. Who's that guy? Yeah, he on is the a left? stud. He's a guy from Supernatural. <clears throat> and and Jansen Eccles. <clears throat> yeah, look at Josh. Where'd you guys film God, at? He did so much coke; it's all in his beard. Oh no, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, we were like, dude, die. You're it spreading. Down, die you're spreading it rumors. Down. Where's that at, Nick? That's in Vancouver, Canada. Vancouver. Look at how eh? tan I am. Wow. Yeah, you got a lot of sun Gosh, out there. Too much like... sun. I got so high Is in that Vancouver. Josh and George Hamilton? <laughs> Lord, that's crazy. God tan I am. I thought you were serious for a second. I was like, that's not tan. <laughs> He's like a ghost. <laughs> You're a, you do have Norwegian skin, huh? Yeah, fine. Of the finest sausage. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's good. It's hard hour comedy. Great cast. Super fun. Good. There's James Roday, Kevin Dillon, Olivia. Oh, Kevin Dillon's a nice guy. Josh yeah. um, looks like Hellboy. Kevin, Kevin Dillon and I. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Kevin Dillon and I did a fucking. Uh, we were on Entourage <laughs> together, and we did this. We did this table read <laughs> under a tent, and it was super hot. And and Kevin looked at me, and he didn't know what to say. So it was one of those. You ever have one of those terribly awkward conversations? And he looks at me like this, and he's such a nice guy, and he goes, "How you doing?" And I go, and then I go, "Good. It's hot, though, huh?" <laughs> And then he goes, it is. And then he goes, then there's a pause. And he goes, I feel like LA's gotten a lot hotter over the years. Oh, weather and talk. I, yeah. I, nothing go, works. I, go, I go, I know, right? And then, then there, I was like, so here we go again. And he's like, yeah. That's when you know you ran out of shit to Fuck talk God. about. How do weather. you get work? That's oh, your small on. talk? That's your small talk? Come on, bro. Oh, my I did God. Two it's not fun on a podcast either. I'm going to try to get. Josh to get you off that movie. No. Yeah. Could you text gonna, him? Yeah, I'm gonna text him. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. Get don't, that picture don't out of here. I can't quit. He looks like Hellboy. No, he really does. I can't quit laughing. Get when him did out you, there. When do you start filming? His name. <laughs> um, hour, I was listening to Rogan's podcast, and the guy Peter Atia is a doctor. Swam from Kwai to Lanai, and then back, and then he goes. But I had to fly. I, we had to figure it out because you can't swim at night because of all the tiger sharks. Yikes. Yeah, there's sharks all. That's like, crazy. What the everywhere. fuck are you doing? And then he does the Catalina thing, the Catalina Channel, <clears> where <throat> they're all great whites everywhere. Everywhere they, with the fishermen. That's where they fish for the great whites. And he goes, um, he goes, yeah, you, you start at twelve at night. Are you out of your fucking stone? No. Why is he doing? Are you out of your stone? They, they, people are crazy. <laughs> that's from the forties, Nick. Oh my god. Also gosh. say, G Wiz, if you say something. I mean, G Wiz, are you out of your stone? Hey, why is he doing? Are you out of your? Why, why is he do it? None of your beeswax. <laughs> He just does um, it for the fuck of it? I guess he just he's one of those extreme, you know, guys. I don't get he gets into that. off on that? Yeah, I don't get into that extreme shit. I, I don't. The ultra marathons. I know you run Not those, swimming but. with sharks. Charlie Chaplin. We're talking about Charlie Chaplin. Who, I asked who, who, who Oh, you inspires. grew up with him, didn't you? No, Brennan. <laughs> don't be an agent. Why did he? <laughs> oh, no. Fuck you, Brian, you <laughs> old sack of diarrhea. <laughs> no, no. God, you're really relishing. Wow, you're relishing in my How funny would it be if Brian died? Oh, my Whoa, God. <laughs> oh, my God, you really hate me. Uh, you hate me. Uh, oh, no. I don't want Brian to die. <laughs> oh, no. You'll be fine. Wait, I, I just remember this story somebody told me when I was doing shows in Florida. Uh, I have Florida shows coming out May 10, 11, 12. Orlando, Tampa, Fort Lauderdale. You got a lot of dates, bro. Yeah. So I heard this story about a guy who was at a bar in Florida, and he was like out back, and they had like this kind of janky fence. So there was a swamp. Some guy's shit faced and walks over smoking oh, a no. cigarette. Pfft, some, this some, he walks towards the fence. Some guy goes, Hey, man, look out, man. There's a gator out there. And the guy goes, what? Fuck that gator. And he jumped over the fence, and that was the last thing he said. said. <laughs> Those were his last words. Oh, was, no. Fuck that gator. And then the thing just grabbed his leg and his butt. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Deuces. He just went to the Fuck angels. That gator. <laughs> the angels were like, really? Mm. All right. That's an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. Really? All right. Um, Stupid. This is, this is a no-brainer. <laughs> <laughs> God. It would be cool if angels. I don't swim. Look at Charlie Chaplin. I didn't know we saw Brian live. (laughs) 
<laughs> that's a picture of him at the dude. <laughs> dude. That's so. Is he yawning? Is that what he's doing there? Yeah. So not cool to say that about me. God. Oh, you heard that? Yeah, God, I'm oh, right. I'm sorry. Here. God. Oh, fucking work my leg. You God. work my leg because you're into dude. Dudes. Those are great jeans. I didn't know Levi's made spray. They're paint. not. They're <laughs> Levi's make spray paint. That's they're cool. Called no, they're, no, they're not tight. They're, they're called not tight naked at all. And famous. Oh my god! Man, I don't guys, like guys. I'm having so much fun. We should get a timeshare together. All right, the three of us. Yeah, three of I us. I like Nick. that a lot. Nick will cook, and he'll do. He'll get all. He'll You'll get, cook no pants, just the fucking. And you're gonna want. You're gonna one's gonna top. get roughed up if you know what I mean, quote unquote. Every day, humby. You don't yeah. have to quote unquote that. I think I know what roughed up means. Yeah, but my skin is so good though. I have good skin. Oh yeah, yeah hey Nick. Skin. Hey Nick, I look fifty one. Okay. <laughs> no, you no, you do have good skin. Yeah. Yeah. How well, old are you? is a bummer. How old are you, Nick? Forty one. God damn, dude. I've really known you since you were nineteen. Yeah, literally. So weird. That's crazy. That is fucking weird, man. You're you do 41. have good skin though. Yeah. Who's your dermatologist? I'm Fire Marshal Bill or <laughs> That's not, I don't even think it's funny, dude. So why are you laughing at your own joke? You're laughing at your own joke. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. You were like, <laughs> no, like I'm still quiet. laughing at your beard. Chuck. It's rough, man. I'm, I'm so extreme. Like when I do stuff, like I'm not like a one drink guy. I can't have like two drinks. Oh, I'm not either. Yeah. yeah I just yeah. go hard in the paint. Like give I me the rock. Super hard. Dunk it. Jail. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Word. Yeah. Yeah, some solid people. Who's that lesbian cop on the left? That's weird. <laughs> Spade oh killed gosh. it the other night at the comedy store. Spade's always been funny. Yeah, yeah he's, he's super funny. I remember one time he called me up and he goes, uh, <coughs> he goes you want to see Brian Adams and Def Leppard? I go, the answer will always be yes, just so you know that. I go, what's the deal? He goes, it's in San Bernardino. And I go, how are we getting there? And he goes, I got a helicopter. Well. I go, yeah. That's, I guess, all right. Yeah. Sounds Let's do fun. it. Yep. So we go to Santa Monica Airport. We get in a helicopter. It's him and me and him and this hot blonde he's with, smoking Standard. hot. So we get in the helicopter, take off. And then I realize there's no bathroom in a helicopter. I'm really smart. <laughs> I barely graduated junior high school. So there's no bathroom in a helicopter. I have to pee violently. Oh, that's the worst. So I'm sitting there and we have like another like 40 minutes. So I go, I have to pee like really bad, like <laughs> dangerously <laughs> bad. So David goes, well, just go out of the window. <laughs> So there was this little slide window, and I slid it. And I'm so dumb that I thought you could just pee, and it would just go out. No. Like, it would just go like a little Come stream. Right back in, huh? And it just hit it like a fan yeah. and just sprayed all over his date. All over no. this chick, yeah. No. All over. And they're both screaming. And he's like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, you said pee out of the window. And he goes... I was joking. You can't pee out of a fucking helicopter. I go, sorry, Magnum P.I. I I don't fucking live this rogue lifestyle. You fucking little elf. Fucking twink. You're serious. It's not great. You watch all the sports. Yeah, Brian, we can't just all sit around and watch figure skating like you do. You know what I mean? People like want to watch sports sometimes. Like sports. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. It's true drama. Yeah, we can't just sit there in our living room. If you could be a pro athlete, triple in one sow sport. cows. Let me ask you this. <laughs> Let me ask you this, Brian. You you won't know these names, but would you rather be Tom Brady, Derek Jeter, or LeBron James? Derek. Yeah, shit Mr. just got Mr. real. Baseball. Yeah, it did. Mr. Brian's Baseball. like, what? <laughs> Who are those people? That's not a good impression of me. Oh my god! Do they sell hot dogs? That's a <laughs> jazz hands. That's a shit jazz hands. I've never done that. Jazz. I don't. That's not me. My beard is great. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. That's probably Theo. Yeah. We got to give him his belt. Where's his belt at, Jen? Right there. I got like fucking ten minutes. Oh. Hey, Nick. It's Nick Swartzen, everybody. You know, Nick and everybody. I are going to be at the Hong Kong Inn, actually, the 30th of this month. Come on over, Nick. What's up, bro? What's... <laughs> Come on over, Nick. Why'd you knock like that, man? We thought it was fucking Jason Shut Momoa. Up. Dude, don't be so aggressive. Hey, man, you're missing your you're laces, You're coming in too. like a gangster. Dude, you guys look like you're really in the fucking weeds over here, man. All right. Oh, oh no. Oh, to trip me. No, I did not. It's on camera. No, you can't. To, you can't, can't sue can't me. Hong Kong in. You can't. No, you have to do the Hong so Kong in. The 30th. What's going on? Not much. What are you doing, man? Oh, my ah, gosh. Shit. You don't Brian even know how to, trying to hurt me. You don't even know how to fucking operate oh a mic, God. dude. What is this? 
<laughs> oh, oh damn man it. damn it nick you ruined everything damn it. i was gonna do a silence of the lambs entrance right, there they are right to the hey guys truck. here i just, think seal crew goes who the fire kid have on let's get him on our show uh yeah. tell me tell me what's going on nick swartzen i'm gearing up for our show well um, talking to the mic fucking up for what talking the mic bro oh, him and brian are at the here. hong kong inn oh really Geared yeah. up for what? Left the 30th. Bro, you look horrible. On the 30th. What? Oh, oh my God. Oh, good. Hey, do an ad for me on. I was hey, like, bro. Why don't you go ahead and lift that, lift that belt, know, what's bro? What's up, man? Oh, See, this go. is real friendship, Brian and oh, Brendan. Dude, you guys look like the coolest. Dude, this is America, bro. Look at shit. Look at you guys dude. wearing black. Show us where oh, you're from, Japan. Yeah, we are wearing black. Yeah, what are you guys, from... magicians from Long Island? What are you doing? <laughs> hey, dude. Good luck. <laughs> don't say that, dude. <laughs> magicians from Long Island. <laughs> 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 what the fuck, shit. bro? You yeah, think dude. you're better than good. us? Because you guys are wearing 19 different colors? Hey, and you look like a bouncer at a TGI Fridays in Providence, bro. You look horrible. Bro, you look like <laughs> Patrick Swayze without AIDS. Oh my god. Look at Nick's yeah, look did, at Nick's bro. No, yeah, pancreatic cancer. Look at Nick's um <laughs> look at Nick's fucking uh socks. <laughs> look at those yeah, fantastic they're socks. Colorful. Nick looked like you robbed a hot they're top. Colorful, page. Brian, like your rosacea. <laughs> hey, you son of a bitch. I don't have rosacea anymore, wow. you bastard. Oh my god. I'm, Brian. I'm psoriasis wow. and slash rosacea Good. free. <laughs> wow. no, no, Brian, it's even hot, man. Oh my Brian. Just Gosh. chilling, having a good time. Yeah, yeah. What? I know, You've dude. never been doing that. If you watch the episodes, dude, we're just chilling, <laughs> dude, man. Brian's got those wild capillaries. You look good today, Brian. Hey, don't say wild capillaries. I was told I look healthy. You got his haircut, yeah, bro. I'm you look good, Brian. Yeah, I did. I'm keeping things tight. Brian, you look by good. time, bro. He got his haircut by yeah. time. Yeah. Father time. Yeah, his bro. barber's father time. Father time's getting done. Dude, oh, you look, Nick gosh. has blue eyes, guys. You notice that? I can't. I've never noticed his eyes. I can't see him under the folds. They match. What? Am I on my Nick Folds over here? Yeah, Listen, I fucking dude, you, look good, yeah, You're dude. very blued out right now. Yeah. You got the great Nick, socks. Are you, I'm blue. We can't all be a fucking pizza delivery mime <laughs> in fucking <laughs> Hartford. Good yeah. God. Bro, it's like Tony Christ. Hawk's assistant. Man. Oh, my God. Where's your God. skateboard, bro? Dude, where'd you get that chain from Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> and fucking Fire Island, you <laughs> fucking gypsy? Good oh, yeah. God. Yeah, bro, gypsy yeah. You look like a chef hell. at the fire Festival, bro. Dude, you look fucking Dude, you look like horrible. you still play for the Sandlot team. <laughs> no, I dude. wish. He looks dude. like Slob Deer Deck, bro. <laughs> slob, <laughs> you got slob Deer Deck. <laughs> that was good. It was Look your fucking fantasy factor, bro. The guy who looks like a fucking raccoon dipped in <laughs> Gary Busey's dick sweat. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. That hurt, oh, oh, my that hurt a little. <laughs> yeah, that stung oh, for man. me. That oh, hurt a little, God. man. God. Nick's coming in hot. Nick what is ever, dude? You look like... No, Brendan looks so Don't bad. Don't go to me. Don't go to me because you just got fucking <laughs> lit the fuck up. Dude, that was fucking, heavy. Bro, I got 11th degree burns on my God fucking heart damn. from that one, That's man. what Brian washes his face with. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, my God. I don't have anything to come back at. I have no... I don't know how to, I feel like I don't want to fuck Nick anymore. Wow, I, don't, I feel like I'm Nick's empty. a viper. My, my quiver's empty and you oh. have, Wow, bro. damn, dude! Damn, bro. Hey, good luck carpooling with Brian now. The Hong Kong in. <laughs> good luck of wait, him I'll taking you together, up, dude. I'll drive my Tesla out there. You ever been in a real Tesla? I haven't, seats? Brian. <laughs> All right, my hands yeah. tend to roam. I'm excited, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're going to take care of the kid. You're going to take care of the old bob gun as I drive. <laughs> dude, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, you look like the, part of the gig. Brendan looks like a what, like the new rookie on the Brinks truck team, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he looks fucking bad, bro. Oh take the wheel, gosh. kid. Yeah, take bro. the wheel. Dude, what's in your hair, bro? You look like that chain. What's in your hair? Stem cells? You look fucking bad, bro. You look like Billy Ray Cyrus is your spirit animal. What the fuck are you? What, look at your hair, dude. <laughs> Dude, dude, shitting me? Whatever. Marshawn Lynch died or <laughs> no. retired? Oh, <laughs> dude, how dare you? Oh, yeah. Way to bring it down. He looks dude. like he shops at a like with a skill crane, bro. Everything he wears looks like he <laughs> fucking got it out of one of those Pizza Hut prize aquariums. <laughs> yeah. He shops oh at my a bunch, gosh. bunch oh. of, dude. Nick, what? How about your Vikings suck ass though? Boom. How about roasted. you look like a fucking Italian Lego, dude? <laughs> Good God. 
<laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look like an Italian no. Lego. Yeah, dude. You look like Chef Boyard dude, Diplo. Don't you have to be at the fucking yeah. skate park in Venice? Oh, oh, you got to coach the kids up. Oh some yeah, shit? I have to give that thirteen-year-old kid his pants back. <laughs> <laughs> fucking or Lord. his socks back. What are you talking about? Dude, those are bro? tropical. Leave them alone. Fucking dope, dude. I enjoy my life. Just because you don't travel, he goes to tropical places. It. Yeah, yeah dude. It. What's up, man? What's your favorite place to go? Uh, the Hong oh, Kong wow. Inn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the 30th. Thank you for sure. Thank you for making a joke out of that. Me and Nick Swartz. I want to kill myself. <laughs> Me and Nick Swartz. <laughs> if you're like, actually, I really enjoyed India the other week. I fucking. Man. Spiritual I don't go quest. anywhere, man. Yeah, dude. Um, all right, we got to dip out. We're going to do a podcast. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a podcast, man. I'll do podcasting next door. What are you guys going to talk about you can't talk about here? We're going to talk about the Hong Kong Inn. Um, May 30th. No, Trust April me, it's 30th. sold out. There's only 30th. 40 April seats in there. April 30th. It, it's 30 Ryan tickets. couldn't sell it out. He put it on his MySpace and it didn't do anything. <laughs> but uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, we're doing damn podcasts next door. I know. What do you guys do? You guys do, um, what is it when you sell all the necklaces and stuff late at night on television? <laughs> You're saying hey, here? Man, QVC? <laughs> yeah. Don't say that. You think this is QVC? It looks like it, yeah. No, man. We got your QVC. You're selling your QVC belt, punk. Is this the belt? Yeah, it's the true. belt, man. Oh wow! Only took seven months to get That's it. Your belt, oh my you're, god! You're fucking around with Ugh. Dustin Poirier's fake belt. That's the real thing, there, bro. This is it, huh? Jesus. That's it, man. I won this, Nick. That's good. Good for you, Theo. You deserve it. <laughs> there you go. Nick was up for the award too, you know. Whoa! I only did one episode and was up for it, dog. Ooh, that's a big boy, bro. Huh? That's nice. Huh? Wow, this looks like the fucking healthiest thing in Reno. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah bro. Real metal, Damn, real metal. bro. Sick, dude. dude, this weighs seventy pounds more than the other one, man. Yeah. It's that legit. Feel it. Wow. Who made, who oh my it? God. Who that's like, that's half oh, of no. Brendan's head. Da Dana White uh, made that by hand. Dana White Damn. made that by hand. Is that true? Yeah. And, and notice the back Python. What's up, Nick? Who's What's that? What's up, bro? Oh, that's Python skin, huh? Oh, sorry, Siegfried and Royd. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, that's real Thon, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's real fucking thon baby that's dude, nice dude what's up dude, how dope is that belt that's awesome man, man. thank you guys man you're welcome you know, bro. You it. it's an honor now get the bro. fuck out of here Ren and Stimpy get that's out of here really, man bro yeah. right. relax fuck dude bye guys congrats on your culottes <laughs> that foot at the Hong Kong Inn <laughs> just leaving that and this case there. comes with it yeah that's yours man yeah, oh man. wow this is a beautiful case comes too. with a holster brother it comes with a carrying case oh yeah Nick those shorts are um, aggressive they're comfortable Brian. they're culottes where's comfort Oh wow, very unique style. Yeah. Very unique. That's what's up. I have style. You yeah. look like you own every Yellow Wolf fucking oh, album. Yeah, dude. Yellow Wolf is a fucking champ, bro. Dude. Dude, look at him. I don't want to fuck with Nick anymore. He's a fucking... He's a fucking legend, bro. <laughs> God damn, he's a viper, oh, man. man. He'll keep, he'll God damn, down. dude. Oh. Yeah. There's a woman who... Uh, no, there from, isn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please just end it. And with that, just I gotta go, it. bro. He's gonna I go can't take Viper. any more of these lies about these women. I gotta women. go, man. Yeah. Good God. Oh, yeah, oh, guys, boy. The you. fucking champ, Good baby. Luck, there you go. Well, that strapodactyl, son. <laughs> That shit looks legit. Welcome to Strap Ganistan, baby. Strap. You know what I'm saying? I got Strap. two, and if you want them, they're right next door. I'm gonna get Michael Rappaport's gum from under this fucking table, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Delia's gonna be pissed. Let him get pissed, bro, in his mansion, dude. I'll tell you what he can't buy is two motherfucking belts, baby. Congratulations. I'll see you guys soon, man. Thank you, bro. Theo Vaughn. Appreciate that. Steve. Good bro, shit, Theo. Yeah, legit, bro. Nick Swartz and Nick, Nick Swartz. Like take you on the road. Guest, guest starring, starring Nick Swartz and Theo Vaughn. Very nice, dude. We'll be at the HK, you know what I'm saying? Given HJs, bro. See you at the Hong Kong. What is an HK? Hong Kong Inn. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Just Come and do a guest spot. Yeah. Later, boys. Bye, guys. Later. See you, sweetie Bye, pie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please just end it. With that, I just gotta go, it. bro. He's gonna go I can't take any more of these lies about these I gotta women. go, man. Yeah. Good guy. Oh, oh, yeah, guys, boy. The you. fucking Good champ, luck, baby. There you go. Bro. That strapodactyl, <laughs> son. <laughs> That shit looks legit. Welcome to Strap Ganistan, baby. Strap you know what I'm saying? I got Strap. two, and if you want them, they're right next door. I'm going to get Michael Rappaport's gum from under this fucking table, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Delia's gonna be pissed. Let him get pissed, bro, in his mansion, dude. I'll tell you what he can't buy is two mother 
fucking belts, baby. Congratulations. I'll see you guys soon, man. Thank you, bro. Theo Vaughn. Appreciate that. Steve. Good God, shit, Theo. Yeah, it's it. legit, bro. Nick Swartz and Nick, Nick Swartz. Nice. Take you on the road. Guest, guest starring starring Nick Swartz and Theo Vaughn. Very nice, dude. We'll be at the HK, you know what I'm saying? Giving HJs, bro. See you at the Hong Kong. What is it? HK? Hong Kong Ian. Oh, sorry. Okay. sorry. Jesus. Just, Come and do a guest spot, Theo. Later, boy. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bless Thank your you. hearts. Bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, man? Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, dude, of course. Dude, that belt is fucking holy it's shit. Nice, dude. huh? That's really heavy. Look at that. Wow, man, we got the belt. You got the new strap? Yeah, we can right? see it. Shit's legit, dude. Dang. Oh, hefty. Got some girth on it, huh? Yeah, that's some fucking girth of a nation. Ooh, I'll put it. Wow. Fuck. Yeah. What do we do? Just put it right there? Yeah, I think so. We got to. Yeah, you're right. And we'll put the the beginning of all that fighter and kid stuff at the beginning of this episode. <laughs> they just got Steal put on blast. We put them on blast so hard. Oh, we just blast. <laughs> we fucking, what'd you call Brendan, bro? I don't even know. Siegfried I call... and Roy. <laughs> oh, yeah, Siegfried and Roy. <laughs> 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 Bro, I can't even believe those guys are. And were they? I don't. Were they lovers or what was their deal originally? I can't remember how they first got into the game. Yeah, I don't know how that link happened, dude. But it's uh, somebody's got to get to the bottom <laughs> and top of it yeah, no, and dude. figure out which one's which. Oh, there's some real. <laughs> bro, the sec and no joke, bro. The sexual tension in there was. I yeah. mean, you could cut it with just a piece of string. It was very easy to cut. Dude, you could cut it with a string, but the string has balls on it. That's oh. how fucking thick it was. And it seemed like there was, I don't know, something. Uh, it was just very alarming in there. It was fun watching Brendan try to remember words. <laughs> oh, dude, it's good. <laughs> it was cool. You, when you watch his mind work, it's it's like like a baby elephant like falling to earth. <laughs> And like just kind of looking around and trying to just pick up what other humans are doing. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, it's cool. It's a fun process. It is. People often liken it to watching like a D, like a deer take its first steps. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's but forever. Yeah, and the deer already worked out to get ready for it, and it still can't walk. Yeah, like it already did three thousand push-ups, yeah, yeah. and it's like I'm gonna fucking walk, and it just <laughs> fails. Just far. Fails. I saw him, and he's just misguided too. He, I saw him doing curls one time before a spelling bee. You know, it's like yeah, that's that's bad, dude. It it doesn't work. He doesn't yeah. realize that. He just he over juices, dude. Oh, and Brian doesn't help because he sees the opposite. Yeah, where Brian works down. Yeah, he tries to take his push ups away. Yeah, yeah, he's doing negatives. <laughs> he does yeah. negatives, dude. And Brian's lost a lot of weight in the past years. Almost thirty percent of his body weight. Yeah, he lost. He removed several bones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just well, to kind of thin out a little bit. Ever since that last moon landing, you know, he just hadn't been the same. No, and then he modeled his face after it. And uh, <laughs> he saw the moon. He's like, I got to get that permanently on my face. <laughs> Nick, so, yeah. you, just, you just made a movie. You just made a movie you were the lead in. Is that right? I made a talkie. I was a co-lead to my boy David Spade. So, yeah, that was fun. We shot in Hawaii. And uh, I got a great tan, as you can tell. You still, yeah, you do have a little bit of tan. I have still. a little bit of color, but not, uh, you know, I had to stay out of the sun. That's my yeah. excuse. I had to stay out of the sun and not work out. Well, people were, uh, people were starting to yell racial slur. I mean, you got pretty bronze, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, it got really ugly, man. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. But you know David Spade at all? You know, I, I recently got to know him over the past year. Very unique guy. Yeah, he kind of keeps himself a little bit. He kind of, a lot of people, like, I, I was with him somewhere and people thought he was Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that that was uh, that was kind of an interesting moment in his career. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Then or now, uh, I don't or know. in the that's future? A good question. They're like, are you Macaulay Culkin in fifty years? <laughs> I think. I think, he I gets think that now. A lot. Well, Macaulay's aged not well. Have you seen him recently? I do a bit on stage about it because I was on my computer, and a pop up thing happened. It was like celebrities that look like shit, and they had Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> and they showed a picture of him. And you know what I mean? He's like 30 or something, whatever the fuck it was. Mm -hmm. But then they reference a picture of him from Home Alone. And I was like, 
Well, you can't reference that. They're like, ah, look at him that. Now look what he fucking looks like. I'm like, yeah, that dude was nine. Who, how, how do you reference yeah. that? You can't reference that against what life has done to people in 30 fucking years. What's going on? You hear something in here? Yeah, that I is hear them. It. it is cool. It's like a hype thing. It's oh, it's Rogan. wrestling. It's Joe Rogan. Is it? Yeah. What? Where next not, door? In in the back of all of our heads of America right now. <laughs> We're in. I wouldn't be surprised if Rogan did implant a chip into. Our, I know. Huh? He just secretly just like, "What's up, man?" And just high five and then chip into your fucking <laughs> hand, and he just watches over in his fucking icicle. But he just sits in nude. Yeah. On fucking forty different stimulants. Oh, yeah. just with third eye, fifth yeah. eye. Seven eyes, just fucking ew. Oh, he dropped a fucking chakra the other day. I was walking behind him, and a chakra fell right out of his pocket. Oh, my gosh. And I had to pick it up and give it to him. Dude, I... Different times. Yeah, I caught him in the bathroom, and his body was full on from the movie Cocoon. Oh, when wow. it was all gold and shiny, and you have to, like, look away. Yeah. And he was like, oh, and then he pulled his pants <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck, dude? And he just floated away through the wall. <laughs> yeah, he's got that, bro. Yeah, <laughs> dude, he's got powers, dude. Oh, I wait, saw him. Wait, what, sorry, yeah. I saw him eating owl nuggets, bro. Straight owl. Oh, dude. Hundred percent pure owl nuggets. Eating them out of a fucking bag, <laughs> uncooked. Dude, yeah. that's what he does, man. I saw him the other day. He was backstage at his comedy store eating ferret sashimi. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Crazy. I was like, what? That's not even a food. He's yeah. like, yeah, I killed it with a crayon. Yeah, I'm definitely. like, what the fuck? Dude, he had a fucking quart, a fresh quart of moon glow, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, just iridescence off the fucking moon, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Non-liquid base, he told me. I'm like, what? Dude, no rules, uh -huh. that guy. I saw him take a grenade that had, was just filled with soil and just swallowed it and fucking detonated it. Oh, and it was just pure soil from Egypt. Yeah. I don't even know if they have soil. And it just detonated, and then and all of a sudden... His it's an ab workout. Yeah. yeah, his whole abs were like perfect, and then a fucking a golden cat ran out of his asshole. Oh, <laughs> dude. wow! Yeah, it's, it doesn't play. And much. where was that locally, dude? That was we in the middle of the four hundred five freeway. Oh my god, man! <laughs> yeah, it was nuts. He doesn't. He does care. some of his best work on the four hundred five, man. Yeah, no, he's ledge. Wait, who was from? Uh, oh, Indiana? I saw him suck the cystic fibrosis right out of a kid once. Oh my god, <laughs> he is a healer too. Yeah. Oh my god, that makes sense, dude. Yeah, he spit it right out of a window, man. It was fucking sexy too, dude. Yeah, that's sick, and it just went out into the ether. <laughs> yeah, that was it. It just traveled and went right into Callan. Oh yeah, Callan no, absorbs. No. I feel like every kind of disease and ailment, and he processes it and it just lets it emit. He's a liver. He He's is basically a liver. the liver. He's like Keith Richards and like a pirate from like like an old pirate that's done some fucking dirty shit yeah like a pirate that's still out there sailing yeah like, like just milling around the harbor in st petersburg <laughs> just yeah. still i think brian callen's real name was john john dis oh, yeah, 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 yeah i think john that was and they yeah, were like that's too gnarly so they and you know it's just hard to get back on because my brain is so fucking weird Blech. Yeah, Man, excuse me. That's how I pitch my show. Well, you have a lot of bile. It looks like, and you. you look like somebody that's bile heavy. Oh, dude, I'm the fucking river of bile. Dude. <laughs> oh, dude, it's just yeah. going right through that <laughs> northbound. Of, yeah, fucking but, bile daddy. They call him. You should get a ta tattoo that says bile daddy, or just have a show called Biling Out. <laughs> yeah, and it's just me regurgitating fucking bile. <laughs> dude, that's the worst. By the way, for you guys who drink out there, guys and girls, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Uh, that's, I'm, I'm always, dude, the bile b barf is oh. fucking rough, dude, when you get fucking after it, that's a especially thick, when you're going man. on a fucking bender, yeah, and then you have, like, fucking bile, and you just cut, it's like fucking alien. My boy Dirt Nasty, you know Simon, obviously, oh, yeah. a good friend of ours, we always trade war stories of fucking partying and stuff, but the bile one is always... Yeah. Those of you who know now where you're just like, it's like fucking alien where the thing is like, <laughs> and that's you though. And you're coming through your own stomach and it's just, and it's just <laughs> fucking sucks. And that ass like healthier than I've ever seen. Your eyes look bluer than ever. Yeah, I'm alive. I'm wow. fucking alive, dog. Yeah, but, because a lot of chat rooms, you're not alive. And a lot of, there's a lot of like Reddit <laughs> feeds where you uh, have been deceased for a while, bro. Yeah, no, I, I've, I've clocked out. I've clocked out a couple of times. No, it's funny because... People, that's the thing about social media, like I'll post pictures because I like I'll go out to bars, have fun, drink with people, fans. I mean, I have a blast when I'm like out and about and like getting after it. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? And then people take photos and we'll have fun and laugh and shit. And then I'll post photos of me like clearly having fun. And then people are like, you look like fucking Gargamel's asshole. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so I'm like, well, which guy do you want? You know, I'm clearly smiling and having a good time. Why are you taking me down a notch? I didn't get married and have five kids and live in a fucking tundra and just yeah. our Judge Judy on the fucking social media. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm fucking 42 years old, dressed like I'm 13. Fuck I don't give yeah. a fuck. Oh, I don't give a... I can drink my fucking fake tits off, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. Bro, would you ever get fake tits and fill one with a mixer and one with booze? Oh, dude, if I make it to 70, the wheels are coming off, dude. Yeah. And then wheels are coming on. I'm taking my legs off, getting fucking souped up wheels with rims. So 32. So that's how head. I go around. Yeah, I'm going to just fucking get, get after it. Just straight from your Cossacks into some 32s. Yeah, and I then just that. fucking roll, dude. Yeah, go hard, bro. If you make it to 70, I just feel like 80, that's even pushing it. But it's like, <laughs> if you can do that, I mean, I think you should just go for it. You know what well, I mean? Well, 80 is kind of loitering. You know what I'm saying? Like at 80, nobody's like, oh, yeah, Grant. Like at 70, people are still engaging with you. Yeah, you can still do shit when you're 70. I don't like, know what age is, so I don't know what's who's 70. Yeah, I what's mean. What's an example of 70? Yeah, who's who's 80 right now? Clint Eastwood's 84, I think. Fuck. God, so it, let's bro. say you make it to like 90. But people don't even, do they live that long now? I feel like you can die from eating like Lunchables. God, it's like oh, yeah. fucking crazy. Like, oh yeah, he had too many Doritos. He died at, like 43. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> shit just takes you out. There's no plagues anymore. My side death was a, a bit I read that went viral. That was amazing about the trapeze artist with diarrhea. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. That'd be a good way to go out too. Just get up there. Just <laughs> crush like three days of T-Bell. Yeah, yeah. And then oh, fucking... Yeah. Maybe a fucking, then have like a peanut butter broccoli smoothie yeah, yeah. and oh. pour it in an omelet with oh. eggs that are old, rotten. Oh. Yeah, and then chug that. Yeah. But then also lay in a hot, like soak in a sauna for a little bit so your body's real supple. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's so just ret to go. Yeah, you have 2% chance of holding in a, a fucking warm pot of D. Yeah, that, <laughs> a hot pot. Yeah. And then just some fucking scalding Ovaltine. Oh. I grab I grab the fucking trapeze oh, yeah. fucking bar. I look at a picture of Brian Callen, yeah. and I'm ready to go. I set it off. Oh. Yeah, on the world stage, New Year's oh, Eve. Yeah, New Year's Eve. And Kathy front of the Griffin's Bellagio. down there with her mouth open. Kathy yeah, Griffin's yeah. reporting. <laughs> and then it's just game on. Yeah. So that's another option. There's a lot of options. I just do it all the time. And then, so I did this on other people's Mom, don't Instagrams. Don't make me help you bail out of this shitty fucking topic you let us into. No, dude. I think this is a good topic. It's fucking real talk. Are we able to turn off being funny? Well, no, but just like, so I go on other people's Instagrams and I'll just start roasting oh, them. Oh, yeah, you're good at it too, man. You're Some of the lines you say are good, bro. So I did this recently. Yeah. <laughs> My friend Kevin Love, good buddy of mine, he used to play for Timberwolves. I'm from mm -hmm. Minnesota. I went on his Instagram and he posted a photo of him at the beach and he's like flexing, you know, and he's, you know, he's in shape. He's at the beach. He's happy. And I go, you look like a bird that needs to take a shit. And I commented and then I just got all these people like, oh, bro, fuck you. Who the fuck you fuck? You know what I mean? Go wolves. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah. well, I just, you know, I, I know Kevin. I'm just busting his chops. Wally Zerbiak till I die. Bunch of fucktards. <laughs> yeah. But people just get, I don't know. You don't, you don't experience that? Well, I get, some of the stuff I just did. like don't, they can't, especially in this day and age. That's yeah. getting love. <laughs> Why are you standing like a bird that has to take a shit? Not like that's a great <laughs> roast. It just, I was just bored and saw Kevin. I was like, oh, I'll drop him a line. Yeah, why well, don't you have any friends at the beach? You look like the guy who fucking killed Natalie Holloway right there. <laughs> I don't think you have an option, Arena. They're going to take blood. Yeah. I was, the, my last uh, tour I did, I went to Reno and my bus pulled up to the casino and it was like two in the afternoon. I This is my hand to God. I'm not joking. I got a tour bus, turned my tour manager, and I go, hey, I'm going to go get a bite. And I like walking. I like just chilling. I'm chill, dude. So I'm walking down the street trying to find a place to eat. This is broad daylight mm -hmm. and the Eight to ten people I saw on the street, I was afraid of. Really? In the middle of the day. And I had a, a panic attack. Oh, where I was damn. like, Whew. oh, okay. look at fucking, all right, look at, there's Rick over there who's up to no good. <laughs> wow. Everybody just looked like they were like, how much is that guy's eyes type of look? <laughs> like, oh, just, I was just fodder, dude. It was like walking dead shit. And yeah. I just beelined it into some fucking random oh, house it's, and then died. It's her. Dude, I'll say this about Philly, man. 
uh, if you go up by Broad Street or by Temple University, yeah, dude, dude, it gets a little dicey, okay, bro? Yeah, dude, I, mean, I saw a bird up there fucking selling coke one time, dude. I'm not even joking. They had a crow and it had a little bag of fucking rocks hooked to its own. I know. I've seen that, dude. I was fucking in Philly one time <laughs> and I saw cops surrounding a birdhouse yeah. and it was a bird crack house and they had guns drawn and everything, dude. There yeah. was fucking five birds in there just flipping yay. It's dicey, dude. Just making it fucking rain. We heard a rumor that it isn't. I don't know. Let's ask Brian Bosworth. Hey, Boz. It seems like, uh, so since you're retired, dude, you got into some crazy stuff. You co in the Bunny Ranch? Okay, there you go. And that's another episode of Weekend at Bosworth's. <laughs> yeah. What was the show? Was there a show that you ever got like pinched for that you uh, bailed on? I don't know what that means. Did you ever got picked for that you wanted to bail, that you like passed oh. on? No, I didn't pass on any shows, but uh, I was really picky with TV because all the sitcoms were so fucking corny. Yeah. And so uh, I, I was up for a handful of shows. I remember I read for Dawson's Creek back in the day. <laughs> no way, <laughs> yeah, bro. For the role of Pacey. Oh, yeah. But I was like young as shit, but uh, I read for that. It would have been a totally different show, though, huh? It would have been way different, dude, because I was on roller skates. Dude, I met that guy when I was at University of Arizona. I met that guy, dude, Joshua, Joshua Jackson. Jackson. He seems cool. I never met him. He was like at a bar. It was like one of the first like celebrities I'd ever seen, except Michael Landon like allegedly came to like a car fair in our town one time. But um, this was like one of the first celebrities I'd ever seen. He was at a bar and all the like chicks were into him and stuff like that. And I was just jealous. And I called him like I went outside with my friends and called him like a fag and then left. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it was kind of yeah. I mean, I feel bad about it now. He's just a guy at a bar, you know. I was just jealous. What in the fuck? The area. Yeah, yeah. that's what it gives me it gets me bilerea yeah one time you told me someone should fart in your butt which was the craziest thing i'd ever heard in my life bro and no joke one of the funniest things i've ever heard in my life bro because it seemed so impossible yeah you know? it's not possible it seemed like really next level bro. here's the thing about it to answer your question because people i've heard that before but like people get mad They're like you already talk you always talk about farting and diarrhea like yeah, fucking grow up. Like you're, this is, you're still talking about this? Here's the fucking point. I'm in on the joke. I know it's stupid. Here's the thing that annoys me about people is when they go, oh, it's fucking stupid. Yeah, I know it's fucking stupid. That's why I'm laughing about it. I did a joke early on uh, way back in the day about my cat has diarrhea. Mm -hmm. And I took him to the vet, and the vet's like, well, what have you been feeding him? And I'm like, diarrhea. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's like way back in the day, and it made me laugh because it was so stupid. And so then I just started, like, I would have, like, diarrhea jokes. And then I made a thing where I was, like, every special one, I have a joke about diarrhea. Yeah. Every joke, I want to, I mean, every special one, I have, like, a fart joke. And it's only, like, few and far between. My last special on Netflix, which is on comics of the world, I do, like, all oh, shit your pants story. But so I'm doing it as a joke to, like, it just makes me laugh. And then the people that get it, they know, like, I I'm clearly just doing it because it's so over the top. Like, my, a couple specials ago, it was called Seriously Who Farted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it was just solely for the fact that I'm just bracing how immature and dumb it is because I just want people to have to say that. And then I read a review of my special and some guy goes, I love this special. It's one of my favorites. The only annoying thing is I have to keep telling people the title. So they're like, what made you laugh so hard? He's like, oh, I saw this thing. It's called Seriously Who Farted. <laughs> and then I just, I laugh at people having to say that. And yeah. I'm like, I'm the off chance that ever gets nominated for something. Some old crusty dude's got to be up there like, and uh, the specials are Seriously Who Farted. <laughs> And like, so if you're of that mindset, then it make it, hopefully that makes you laugh because you know that I'm know that it's fucking stupid. I see. So you're, and what am I going to talk about? Like, I'm not po yeah. political. We might talk politics. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Everybody has diarrhea. If you're fucking Republican or Democrat. <clears throat> yeah. You fucking rock at the D re dude. Oh dude. You're on fucking Lake D re dude. Gay or straight. Black, okay. white, Asian, Latina, oh. everybody rockets the D re. Dude, I think uh, I've never. What up, D re? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Splat it, dude. Dude, and a brother, one time I was in the urinal in the stall, you know, doing what I do, right? Number two. And... Yeah. And this, they had a brother in there and he beat on the wall at one point. He's like, he was on the phone, of course. And he beat on the wall at one point. He was like, hey, dog, let me get a courtesy flush, you know? And I'd never heard that. Apparently, in the black yeah. community, you get that courtesy flush. Yeah. No, courtesy flush is good. Mine's just straight peppermint splatty. Dude. Oh wow! Yeah, dude, it's green. Wow, and fucking huh? bile. That, that's <laughs> bile. 
Dude, you get this from traveling, dude. The worst is airport bathrooms. Oh. When you have splatter from all over the world, dude. Oh. You've got a fucking universal fucking stench from everybody traveling from all Oh, that's a Unabomber, bro. That's it's a Timothy amazing. McSpray, bro. The fucking... <laughs> people, it's think about people McSpray. meeting from all over the world and putting all their diarrhea <laughs> in the same pipe. Yeah. It dude. almost seems insane. It's a fucking whole new world, <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, dude. Good Lord. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, some people say that God farted humanity, Adam and Eve, into the universe. That's what they say sometimes. Yeah, I, I believe it. I, I, yeah, I don't know who said that, but... I think Who's it was that? in the Truman Show. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. I think it was, yeah. 